Welcome back everybody to Alchemy Gaming. We're doing Across the Alps scenario number 11 of Railway Empire 2. Okay, so this time we need to do these four things. We need to make eight different goods available in Geneva at the same time. There's already four. We need to achieve an express status on the rail line between Ulm and St. Moritz. Let's look at that quickly for a second. So St. Moritz is there. Where's Ulm? Ulm is right here. Okay, so we'd have to get this and that. Okay. And then produce three loads of dairy products in the Switzerland region per week. Geneva and Zurich are part of the region and resorts in St. Moritz and Zermag gladly accept any shipments. Okay. And then we need 60 passengers without training, changing trains from Venice to Geneva. All right, let's get to it. So Switzerland is going to be 860,000. We have nowhere near the money. So we're just going to have to let some time pass and come back. We had to let a lot of time pass by, but we eventually bought this area for almost 900,000. And then we have a line from Dijon to Geneva. With, we'll put our two trains on for now in our wagons. And then we'll go ahead and build over to Zermatt. The line from Geneva to Zermatt is all ready to go. We'll put two trains down on that with our wagons. And we'll just keep rolling northeast here from Zermatt to Zurich. And we'll put two trains and wagons on that. Now we have a line from Zurich to St. Moritz. Put on our two fine Scotsmen with our wagons. All right, so we built a Swiss warehouse here. Just got to find our, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and put two trains on a line from there to Zurich. And we'll put that down. And then we'll put two trains on a line from that to Geneva. And we'll go ahead and put that down. And then we're going to go ahead and put two trains on that going to Dijon, Dijon I guess. Okay, now we gotta start bringing stuff in. Okay, so we're gonna bring in our sugar to our warehouse. And we'll go ahead and put two trains for now on that. And then we'll go ahead and put our corn coming into our warehouse. We'll put, let's put three trains on that one. Then we can do our wheat coming into our warehouse and let's also put three on that one it's a little bit further away and then let's go ahead and put our vegetables all of these are bought by the way in case you, did, you didn't know but if you watch my videos you probably know that for the most part I buy things okay so we have that and the only thing left is the apple up there that we'll just leave it for now and so that should get us a pretty good growth going here between these three. The other thing I'm going to do is go from Zurich to Geneva. Going to put a train on that. For now, just one. Just going back and forth to uh, move the alcohol and the cloth. Dijon and Geneva both have cloths, so that's not going to work. So I need to put a line between Zurich and Dijon. And I'll work on that. So we did our line to Dijon from Zurich. And we'll put our train on that. And we'll just let things grow. So we bought the old area with all in it. And now we have a train line with two wagons. Or two trains, sorry, and all our wagons going to, to Zurich. Not sure if this is going to work. But I'm going to try just piggybacking off this line from Zurich. And see if that will qualify me for the express status. So we'll put two trains and the wagons on that. Notice there was a connection bonus, so we bought this grain and we're going to bring it into Milan. We bought this area, so we're now bringing in the train from Venice to Trent. We got two of them with their wagons. We're going to go ahead and put two trains on our Venice to Geneva here, and we're bypassing Trent and bypassing Zurich. That should help us get that. Uh, that should help us get the. One of our tasks that we need. I don't know why I just went blank there for some reason. And now we're, we're going to go ahead and bring it into Zurich. We'll do the same thing. We'll pass Trent. Don't see any need to stop in there on the way by. 
and we'll put let's put three trains on this one because it may have more traffic tourists love these small health resorts now that this connection is in place it should be heavily frequented okay perfect so that worked on the St. Moritz and I already put my train down as you saw from Venice to Geneva and so now we're missing one good in Geneva and I looked and we got meat that's at zero so we're gonna have to go after meat so let's go ahead and buy this area and I think we'll connect Nancy as well. we're gonna go ahead and bring in our meat to Geneva let's go ahead and put two trains I guess we'll do that and then we're also gonna go ahead we bought this fruit while we were at it we'll bring that into our main warehouse fill that up we'll throw I'll throw three trains on that. It won't need it yet, but when it does, we'll be good. So we're working on a Dijon Express to Nancy Express freight line here. Or sorry, I see we have a ride. Express line. From this point on, it should be easier for us to achieve the remaining goals. Okay, we got our eight different goods in Geneva at the same time. Perfect. Now we're going to do a train line from Dijon to Nancy. We'll go ahead and put a flying Scotsman on that. And I'd say we'll we'll throw three on it. Ah, Venice, another milestone in our development of the Alps. Perfect. So now we have our sixty passengers from Venice to Geneva. So the last thing, three things, is basically grow Geneva or Zurich big enough so I can put a dairy down. That's basically what I'm trying to do right now. Now I have an express line from Strasbourg to Nancy Express, and so we're going to put two trains with the wagons on that. We now have Strasbourg to Alm Express. We got our wagons on there and our trains. There was a big bonus down here to bring this grain into somewhere, so we're going to bring it in the Trent right now. We're waiting for Geneva and Zurich to grow so we can start making cheese. So for now, we're just going to keep working on some other things. We're going to bring in this corn to Venice and start growing Venice. Now we're bringing in our grain that we bought, and we're not going through a train, we're going slightly around it down to Venice. I see Venice is making meat so we're gonna go ahead and bring in two trains of cattle to keep that going and then we'll put a train next to Trent from Venice and let's go ahead and do that right now between Trent and Venice can't see why not sorry we'll go with the mountain freight and we'll go full load for now anyways I may come back and change that We'll put a refrigerated car for the meat. So now we're going to bring in our wood that we purchased and bring it all the way into Venice. And then we're going to go ahead and line up our vegetables, which of course we don't need yet, but we'll just have them sitting there ready to roll. We'll bring that into Venice as well. Sorry, team of rest. Where is it going? Yeah, of course it's not going to do anything because it doesn't need it yet, but it'll be ready for later. Now we have our wood coming in to Trent, and then we're going to go ahead and put our vegetables in the Trent, which once again are going to do nothing at first, but when it gets to the point where it grows, I'll need them. And now we have our corn going into Trent Freight. We're just going to keep going along on the south here, so we're going to bring in wood to Milan freight and then we're going to go ahead and bring in wood to Turin freight so we're all the way back to where we started almost to turn okay and then we're going to go ahead and do our Milan to Turin freight line okay we'll do that and then we also need to bring in our grain to turn. It's going to go through Milan for a second here, but I'm going to do a bypass after. Put our grain in. There we go. Now we're going to bring in our vegetables to Milan, which they won't need at first, of course. And now we'll put our vegetables into turn which once again they're not going to need at first but when they get there they'll all be automatic and ready to roll. We'll bring our corn into Turin. Now we're going to bring in our corn. We're bypassing the freight station and bringing it into Milan Freight. 
I was just kind of doing the circle and coming back up here. I noticed Dijon needed meat, so we're going to put a Nancy Freight line to Dijon, bringing in meat. I also put immigration offices in Geneva and Zurich. Back over on the west side here, we're going to bring, we bought this grain, we're going to bring it in the Lions to help do our alcohol. Now we're going to bring in two trains of alcohol to Marseille from Lions. And we'll go into Marseille to the train station here, the freight station. And we'll put in a warehouse. And then we'll let it kick the alcohol over. And let's see, what's Nice bringing back cloth? and So Nice can bring back cloth and dresses to Lions. Because our sugar's close by, we're going to bring that into Lyon as well. Now we're going to bring in our wood to Lions. You notice we built this really expensive bridge so we can just avoid all this mess of Marseille. Now we're going to bring in our milk. We built a special station, save some lines, bring that in the Lions. You know, we did a very expensive through the mountains to bring our line to bring our corn down the lions. And we did a little bypass here, so we're going to bring in our vegetables, which they will not need yet, but eventually they'll need them. And we'll put our fruit in the lions, so that should definitely get us growing quite well there. Now we're going to bring in our vegetables to our south warehouse to serve Nice and Marseille. And we'll also grab this fruit right here and do the same thing. And we'll put, we put three trains on the vegetables. We'll do the same thing here. Maybe they won't need three, but we'll throw that down. Perfect. We're up in the north again here and we bought the Munich area. So now we have three flying Scotsman's Express and then our three wagons on that. We're watching Switzerland very closely here. I made a mistake from before forgot to buy this milk so I ended up paying 11 or uh, 1.1 million sorry for it so we're gonna bring in two trains of milk to Zurich because we're gonna set it up to be our main dairy place and then we're gonna go ahead and bring in we're gonna bypass Zurich yep perfect we're gonna bring in milk I'll leave it at three anyways and that way it'll get its milk for the other cities and here we are at Zurich as promised we're putting down a dairy and if I look over in Geneva I would say we could put a clothing factory makes the most sense I would say so we'll just let us gain a little bit of money here throw down a clothing factory and then in Dijon we'll probably end up putting a sawmill yeah I know I too am unsure why exactly our clients wanted to get into the Swiss cheese business. However, I'm sure this won't tear any permanent holes in our budget. Quite the contrary. A small step for us, a giant leap for our investors. Congratulations! We are well on our way to making our clients very happy. We now have a big section of the Alps linked by rail. The connected cities benefit from our network and are growing like crazy. We should now turn to our final stage. Okay, so there we got our cheese finally. Took a little bit longer than I thought, but we did do some background work building up a lot of our cities. So they should all be growing. Uh, means we had the money. We're bringing in 1100, sorry, not 1100, 1 1.1 million weekly. So really, if we recap here, Zurich is over 40 so is Geneva Dijon must be under about okay it's 33 because it was kind of suffering from the meat issue here these I'd, I haven't grown any of these four cities here Lyons is fully connected so it will grow eventually Marseille is at 67 Nice is at 80 so it's quite well and then Turin Milan Venice and Trent are all fully connected to the base goods so they should be able to get up to about 40 or so on their own. So I'd say overall we did quite a bit. So the only the only area left to conquer is Austria basically with one, two, three, four cities. And maybe they'll want us to do something up here too. I'm not sure. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Come back and watch another great video of Viking Me Gaming.